flown from? I've flown here from Sydney. Where you study, is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, yes, I study at the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. Yeah. And have you had much opportunity to write for orchestra in your studies? Uh, more small scale, small scale chamber things. Yes. Yeah, that tends to be, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have really welcomed this opportunity. Yes, yes. Great. Yes. And say a little bit about how, about how you took advantage of the fact that you are finally writing for orchestra. Uh, sure. Uh, well, uh, uh, especially for uh, such a special combination of instruments, uh, I thought it was uh, really nice to fully utilize all of the tone colors uh, of having, uh, for example, uh, there was one of each, say, flute, oboe, a clarinet, and bassoon. And so I took the opportunity to perhaps uh, use them as semi solo instruments to give each uh, woodwind instrument a role to play. And you'll hear that in the family. Uh, your piece draws from a particular genre of music that none of the other pieces do. Would you like to talk about that at all? <laughs> sure. Yes. I mean, you will talk about it, but... <laughs> oh, right, yes, yes. Go on. I will definitely talk about it. <laughs> um, my piece is uh, very uh, clearly minimalistic, so it uh, draws from minimalism in music. Uh, you'll probably know such famous composers such as Philip Glass, John Adams, and yes, my piece is very John Adams-esque, and uh, I, I think uh, I've always wanted to write a piece in this style, and this was a great opportunity to the do so. Opportunity. Yeah. opportunity. Yeah. All right, well, what's it called? It's called Stops and Starts. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Shall we hear Stops and Starts? <laughs> 